All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another Let's Play from me. And we're going to start Evo Land 2 tonight. Um, you may have already seen that uh, we finished off uh, Evo Land 1. We did some of the 100% stuff. And yeah, we had some uh, interesting card battles, which uh, I quite enjoyed. But tonight we're going to start Evo Land 2, which is considerably longer than the first. And I think I'm told from Megist it's about 16 hours whereby the first one we actually got to the end of like the story in two so uh, yeah eight times longer than the original which uh, I'm really looking forward to because I really enjoyed like the concept and the whole idea behind the first one uh, but without further ado let's uh, oh wait, there's actually there's actually difficulty on this one well, I think I'll go middle ground. We'll go for a good old arcade, right? We'll go for... We don't want uh, anything... Uh... <laughs> Hello, G. We are going to begin your daily physical training session. Awesome. When you hear the buzzer, move to the right. Congratulations, G. On with the exercises. When you hear the buzzer, move to the left in the announcer voice. Well done, G. Now look around, up at the ceiling and down to the floor. Very good. You should now feel the overwhelming urge to leave this room. <laughs> Alrighty then. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. Despite not being an RPG, that was some um, um, portal vibes right there. Perfect, G. Very good. Now you know that the world is not limited to a single room. Just stay here all game. All right. Look farther. Excellent. As you can see, shrubs are blocking your way. You should feel an ir irrational desire to chop them down with the sword we have provided. Congratulations, you are quite pleased to have chopped down those shrubs. As a reward, we will put on some relaxing music. Yeah, we're staring at the painting. Good. You appreciate this music. Continue on your way. I'm not gonna say G, Continue. I keep saying like G over and over again, just seems a little bit weird. I don't know. Portal 2 Intro Extended Edition. <laughs> now with swords. We will now conduct a combat test in which... Oops, our apologies. A computing error. In short, fight! Oh, they sound a bit squishy. I have to say. Nicely done. You are pleased with your fight. So, that's him. He passed all the tests with flying colours. Yes, he's just right for the task. We'll be interesting to him. I certainly hope you're right. A single misstep could bring about the end of time itself. Deathwish with the 19 months. My man, you absolute legend. Thank you very much, buddy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, rest assured, Professor, we've checked and double-checked. Everything will proceed as planned. Good. Then we'll be able to activate the machine. Make the necessary, pre make the necessary preparations. Yes, Professor. All right. All good, thanks, Deathwish. How about yourself, buddy? Hope you're well. A long time ago, the Magi Civilization has discovered great secrets. No one knows how exactly, but it disappeared soon after that, marking the beginning of a new era. Cue dramatic voice. Thank you. 
In year 950, humans and demons fought a merciless war. The human empire won at great cost. Yeah, I know what you mean, don't worry. It's all good. 50 years later, the city of Geneva uh, Geneva, sorry, is preparing the remembrance ceremony of the victory, even. <laughs> but not everything is as peaceful as it seems. That was um, more not can't read. That was like a very RPG, like, beginning right there, I have to say. Oh, you're awake. Are you feeling better? My father found you passed out deep in the forest. This Man, this sounds just like a Zelda plotline. You don't remember anything? Not even your name? Maybe if you wandered around the forest, that would help jog your memory. Oh, I can predict what should I say. By the way, I didn't introduce yourself. My name is... Vina. We'll keep original names for the playthrough. I, I hope you remember everything quickly. I hope visiting the forest where my father found you will help you remember everything. That was awkward. Like, middle of a freaking sentence. A fire. Must be nice in the winter. A bed. There's probably something more interesting to look at. A nice pot that must contain a lot of interesting things. But you can't open it. Alchemistry instruments, mushrooms and butterflies. Who could use that? This chest could probably be opened if the developers of this game had time to code it. Interesting. The chest contains a beautiful green adventurer costume. No way you could wear that. You would look ridiculous. <laughs> You're the young man I found in the forest, aren't you? Fina has been worried about you. Be sure to thank her when you get the chance. I wish you to go in the forest. If you wish to go in the forest, take the path that crosses the bridge and mark your way. Make your way north. Man, I can't read. But you'll do well to get yourself a weapon before you head out. It's the hydrate am. Hope you well, buddy. Welcome, welcome. The war against the demons ended fifty years ago with the empire victorious. We've had peace ever since, but you never know. Best keep running to stay in shape. At the bottom of the well, you make the you make out the remains of an adventurer. Who would be dumb enough to go down a well? Normally, I'd be out for a stroll in the forest around this time, but a bunch of monsters appeared there recently. In fact, there were they, that was right after Finrose brought you here. They attacked you, didn't they? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. I can't remember. I heard the pirates are camped out on the Cursed Isle. So far, they've only attacked boats belonging to Sierra traders. Rumour has it that their leader is a giant with a crazy big moustache. I have a thing for moustaches. Good to note. Yeah, this is Evo Land 2. Um, Atom, we, we finished Evo Land, like, first time playing, and then we just did some 100% stuff on... Friday, so this is the very start of Everland 2. Have you heard of the Scythes? 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 <laughs> They're strange beings that exist out of time. Some say they lived in these parts long ago. What might have happened to her? I was talking about a group of people or an individual there? I thought we were talking about an individual. Uh, sorry, a group, not an individual. But then the end of that conversation made it sound like we were talking about... A single person. Let's go around the rocks at the minute. Alright, so we need to try and find a weapon then, it seems, it appears. 
Where might we find a weapon? If she can't go that way. Knockland 2. Man, I would pay good money to play that game. As long as the main character can't speak and uh, keeps getting a bit tongue tied, I'm all for it. Let's cross over the bridge and see what we've got this side. This village is so boring. I would have loved to live at this time of the at the time of Emperor Lothair. Who knows, maybe I could have been a general in his army and fought demons. We're coming up on the 50th anniversary of the demon's defeat. I'm planning to wear my finest dress at the fireworks show. Uh, you felt the need to tell me that? Help me! The evil demon king is chasing me! Ah! I am the even de evil demon king. If I catch you, I'll bite you. Jeez. Legend has it the Guardian lives in the forest. The place does have some very ancient ruins, but I've never run into a Guardian in there. Up north, there's the old Spellbunk Forest, which is usually pretty quiet. Okay. But we need to find a weapon, so I am led to believe. My husband won't stop cutting wood. Where are we going to store all this? And hopefully the forest guardian isn't too upset by all this racket. That's a lot of wood. Why are you, why are you blocking the door, though? Someday I'm going to explore the frozen continent for myself, just like the, fa the famed explorer Largo. But today's not a good day. I'm about due for a nap. Right on. Got to get them naps in. Not that I'm a napping type myself, but... You found 50. Was that 50 or 5? Must have been 5. I'm sure I said 50. Maybe it's the, the look of the coin, though. You think that pond character is me? It was built shortly after Fiend's grandfather founded the village. We welcome any traveller who wants to rest here. Well, except demons, of course. No way one no way is one of them going to set foot in my place. Meiji and the Guardian, Imperial Library Publishing Group. All right, so they've got uh, books very much like the original. All right, we have a weapon shop. It's empty. It's empty. It's empty. We found another five. This just contains the mighty armor, but it's really too heavy. You shouldn't have skipped that skip leg day. Just contains mighty armor. All right, same thing. It's empty. The Merchants Illuminati of Geneva by T Conspiracy. Welcome to Everything Under the Sun. Here you'll find everything under the sun. Except I don't have anything to sell at the moment. The road to the Empire's capital was blocked by a rock slide. It will probably be a few more days before they clear it out. Yes, I know, another rock slide. It's like they happen every other day. Are you looking for a weapon to go out into the forest? There may be one in the, in the old house northeast of the village. But it's been abandoned since... I'd rather not talk about it for now. Try to track down old man Paul. He's got the key. But watch yourself. He's not the most easy easygoing sort, especially if you bother him while he's fishing. Alright, so it's going to be steered near a lake then, I guess, right? It might be that guy we spoke to before. Portal guns in the weapon shop. <laughs> Don't you dare tell Fina this, but I'm kind of jealous of her. I mean, she's the chief's daughter, and she's so sweet and full of life. And apparently, she's magical, but she has magical powers. Although, her whole family is a little off. Alright. Oh, here he is. He's fishing. What a nice day to fish in peace, with nobody around to book me. Well, almost nobody. What? The key to the old house? Hmm. I might have it. Or not. It depends. How about you do me a favour in return? Sure. See, I have this fish-related issue I can't seem to solve. Maybe a young fellow like yourself could help me out. Number one fishing rods. 
My fishing rods are all tangled up. I can't tell one from another. Each time they cross, follow the line that goes left or right. Which rod should I use to catch that fish? Uh, rod four, right? Because if each time we reach like a thingy, so we're going to go... Uh, I can use my mouse actually because my mouse shows up here. Doesn't it? Uh, I guess not. All right, maybe not. So yeah, but it's going to go up, left, up, right, up, right, up, right, up. Yeah? Everybody concur with that? Let's go four. Hey, it's Professor Layton. <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. Let me give you this old key. It's no good to me anyway. You got the key to the old house. Use a guide. Insert the lock of appropriate door, then turn. Gee, I'm glad we had a guide of how to use the key. All right, so this guy said house in the northeast, didn't he? Pretty sure. So I'll leave it with this one or the one. It must be this one then. I used to love the Professor Layton games. My wife used to have it. I bought my wife a DS way back when. And uh, she used to have them on there. Give me the money. Just checking everything. You got an old sword. Here's hoping it doesn't shatter on the first blow. You heard there's some test chambers in the old house. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want the uh, the pie rod, man. And of course, now that we have uh, a weapon, we now have enemies. Oh, we can break pots. That's good to note. Guaranteed to fish up pie. <laughs> Alright, so now that we got that, we can... Uh, I guess we can head out of town now, right? That's if I don't, um, if I don't smack my microphone too much in my hand. Achievement unlocked. World map. Spellbunk Forest, that is where we are going. So we need to try and find then where we... We got the achievement for Trimmer, there you go Mika, there was an achievement in this one after all for trimming the bushes. <laughs> Got some squirrels at him. Squirrels and water drops, man. The real, the the real enemy. I'm racking up some big money now. Look. LEDs. <laughs> I 
I'm going to take out them butterflies as well. I mean, them butterflies are looking a bit dodged, let's be honest. We got a collectible star! Alright, so we've got stars to collect in this game as well, much like the first. I think I just went in a big circle, right? Level 2, attack power 2, defense 1, and health plus 3. Usually I can manage on my own just fine, but it just so happens that I hate mushrooms. Anyway, thanks for your help. Uh, still can't remember your name, can you? How about I choose one for you? It would be temporary, of course, for as long as it takes for you to remember it all. Let's see, your name could be... Kuro, what a great name. So, Kuro, what do you say? I hope you get deep into the forest spot where you, my father found you. It just so happens I have this little power that could be of real use to you. And frankly, I intend to go there and find out why all those monsters appeared recently. So shall we? Fina has joined your team, a new friend. You don't want to know. Now that we're a team, we're going to have to work together. For example, those thorny bushes there. You won't be able to cut them by yourself to clear the way, but with my help and by focusing, you should be able to do it. Try focusing and I'll come help you. Okay. So, hold down the, like, attack button, and she comes. That's how we focus. See? Good thing I was here. Still, that really took me out. Once we've called, called on me, I'll need to rest for a bit before starting again. Feel free to ask, just the same, because I'm glad to help out. Alright. Save points. Alrighty then. Squirrels with acorn heads. Oh my god, we got monster rocks. Um, things, things be getting serious right now. Of like a lot more effort into this one, I, f I feel already. Even like playing it for the first sort of like, um, how am I going for like the first 20 minutes? I can already kind of tell, but that might be like sort of part and parcel of like building on the success of the first one. It's all well and good, but how, how, how do I get that? Rolling rocks. Rolling, 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 rolling rocks. I take it you've clearly not played too many RPGs in your time then, <laughs> Iron. <laughs> you got green goop. Ah, it's sticky. 
does that go on this like little shimmery bit I saw over here then? Not sure how we... I think we can use that at the minute. That must be something we need to come back for later. Although, to be fair, there's nothing really over there, so... Yeah. I'm glad in a way that they haven't, like, done, like, the whole of the first game again in by, like, they're just, like, slowly bringing elements in. They've, like, completely built on it, but they've also taken this in a, like, completely new di direction. So that's good. We made it. This is the spot where my dad found you. Careful. I see some demons in the clearing. What could they be doing here? Let's hide. They don't look friendly. Is that it? Cherry, are you sure that's really Mag Mag Magilif? Professor Gyro's G Gyro is that Gyro? Professor Gyro's writings are unambiguous. If we activate this mag Magnolith, we'll be able to tap the great amounts of mag mag Magi energy. Jeez, can I learn to talk tonight? But that 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 Magi energy. It's a Magilif, all right. I saw one just like it years ago. But that one was broken. Why he's got a cotton accent, I don't know. We'll absolutely need the energy from this Magnilif. According to Professor G Gyro's records, the energy within the forest, Guardians, would be enough to trigger it. <laughs> yeah, the problem is though, Fumbly, I can never remember what voice I've done for what people, so every time somebody else every time somebody speaks, they get a different voice. So uh yeah. <laughs> The Guardians have been long dormant, so it must be in a weakened state. We should have no trouble whatsoever defeating it. Soon I will have my revenge on these wretched humans. Prepare to summon the Guardian. Kuro, this is awful. If they wake the Forest Guardian, it might attack my village. We've got to do something. You think we should stop them? Yeah, let's go. It's risky. We might be better off warning somebody. But there's no time. The Guardian! It's awake! Watch out! It's more powerful than we anticipated. Let the thing wear itself out, destroying the village. We'll return afterwards and finish it off. Oh no, Kiro! If we don't do anything, it's attacked my village. We have to try and stop it before it's too late. I knew I could count on you. I'll help you. I'll help you out. Just don't do anything rash, okay? Well, I am dead. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> oh man. Don't like these little bubble gum balls, man. Man. Close. It was close. I got this now. I got this. Left by bubble gum. Yay, the clutch. The clutch 1 HP victory. <laughs> oh, look at all that XP. Level up. Kuro has reached level 3. 
Does Fina not level up then? I guess not. The Magilith is shining. I've never seen it do that. Is that what these demons were talking about? There's something written on here. Lorem Ipsum Dollar Sid... Yeah, I just think the developers left in the Latin because they couldn't be bothered to uh, <laughs> put real stuff in. It's glowing! What the heck? Oh my. What? What the heck happened? I feel different, less detailed. How about you, Curran? Same? Now, where are we? It's a bit like Spellbunk Forest, but there's something different about it. Could be my imagination, though. Either way, those demons put my village at risk. We've got to head there now and warn everyone. Think you can find the path again? Sure. All right, I trust you. Let's get going. I don't think the squirrels attack us actually. It looks like the squirrels are sort of like running away from us, so. The enemies don't seem as strong though in this. Um... Oh no, they do. They, they, they fire nuts at me. Collectible Star 2! It's a me, it's a Mario time! It's a dangerous rock, but can I just not attack it? I knew the minute I walked up to it, it was like a a weird rock. The game was like, nope, you ain't going that way. Not a chance. Yeah, it was a nice little touch, actually. I wonder if, like, there was another, like, segment further back, actually. Uh, I know it's backtracking. I don't know if it'll be, like, exactly the same, but I almost wonder if I can do that there now as well. Magilith, so nice. No, yeah, I did wonder if I thought, like there'd be a tree to get across to this side, but there was not. How unfortunate indeed. down the waterfall. Weed killer. So like there's more than one achievement for whacking the uh, the old weeds here.
What is this? Push pot paradise? What would be the point of coming over here? I wonder if I can roll that into there, actually. That's pretty neat, though. Level up. to the village in its pixelated glory. Although, to be fair, this doesn't look like the village. Secret chest. Collectible star number three. Possibly, fumbly, yeah, maybe we've travelled back in time a little bit, like we did uh, in that mechanic on the first game. Huh? My village, where is it? My father! My friends! They're all gone! We need to keep our cool. There's got to be a logical explanation. My dad always told me everything had a logical explanation. I sure hope he was right about that. It's like my village never existed. Kuro, do you have any idea what could have happened? No clue. This must be connected to our fight with the Guardian. Maybe they took shelter in the mountains. Let's go there now. I'm sure everyone's safe and sound. I'm sure they are not. Can I take the axe? Well, what do you know? We don't get many visitors around here. You're trying to escape the war, right? Uh, no. Well then, you must be running from something else. You've got nothing to fear here. We're far from all that mayhem. Anyway, that's why I decided to stick around. Hmm? Weird, he reminds me of my father a bit. He's not from my village in any case. And he doesn't seem to know why it's disappeared. Psst, Kuro, don't pay too much attention to him. The war ended a long time ago. My guess is he's off his rocker a bit. That's going to be the same. Sure. That's the same conversation. Can we go in his little tent here? No. Alright, so we're gonna go to the mountains. 
guess is Grizzly Pass. I look at the bear, raccoon sort of things. Raccoons or bears? What are we saying? And spiders. Spiders, spiders hurt, man. Spiders hurt. They're no fun. Oh, it's one of these. completely rusted. It would take at least a good smack for it to budge. A bit like that then. Wow, I really need to uh, pay more attention to my health. Only 18? Man, that's... That's pretty good going. Level up! behind the tree. I'll wait for our power. No? Oh. Oh, maybe we... Yeah, do that and then use it here. So it'll go through the trees, it obviously won't just go through the rocks. So I guess this one over here will take us up to the top. With the nice and friendly grizzly bears. vulnerable at some point. They've got iframes it seems when they like do some sort of attack there so I'll be careful of that in the future. Oh maybe I should have done this one first. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it does, Mika. Huh? 
it depends if it has the same sort of dungeons or if they're like doing something completely different with this one. Will she break boulders? Yes, she will. Jeez, like, give me a chance to move. All right, this section looks like it could be a little bit brutal. It uh, seems to give you, like, enough time to dodge out the way. And because of her recharging, I don't think you've really got a massive amount of time either to use her as an... Uh, try and break them either so you just gonna have to hope you get lucky on this one I think oh can I hit them ah okay that's um, interesting I can actually attack them with my sword wasn't expecting that oh of course it's a trap! Same boulders from Mike's game. They look... Oh, what is this? Look a little bit similar, I'll be honest. Look, Kuro. A mammoth. I thought they'd all gone extinct before of the globe before because of global warming. Anyway, this one is blocking our way forward. Ah, I know. I'll use the bracelet of great strength I brought from the trader the other day. I'll shove that mammoth off the path in no time. Great job, Fina. Excellent. It's not working. Could it be that the trader sold me a dud bracelet with no magic at all? If I find him, he's going to wish he never met me. Well, I'm fresh out of ideas. I'll leave the problems in your hands, Kuro. That's great delegation right there. Alright, so I'm guessing there's probably going to be like a bit of a, a puzzle element to this. You got an Oricon ore, an exceedingly rare ore used to make powerful gear. It's almost a bit like um, Sokoban itself, to be fair, this, uh, this bit right here. Looks like you can only push them certain directions, so... Oh, hold on. I don't want to do that from here, don't I? So if she can hit this through the wall... Oh, yes. It is a soccer band puzzle. How neat is that?
Now I can go up to the top. Talk about unfinished and soccer ban. I really need to go back to that and finish those last couple of puzzles at some point. So I think we genuinely have to... Okay. Mistakes were made. Mm. Were mistakes made? Possibly. Actually, no, because now I could do this. And then I want to push this one down. And if I can get round again, we can then push this one over here. And then this one over here. And then we just need to move this one out of the way. Soccer bum with a woolly mammoth. There's some DLC for Mike. Soccer Band Woolly Mammoth Edition. Oh. Not really a lot of defense I had there, was there? Grab her! Who? Was it one of the demons? Retreat! Don't let her escape! That poor girl seems to be having a rough day. Think we should give her a hand, Kuro? Sure. Okay, let's do this! Who are you? Do I know you? Did Professor Gyro send you? Uh, no. I'll never go back to his lab. We don't know of any Professor Gyro. Let us help. Let me go. <laughs> Catch her. But be careful. The Colonel wants her alive. I really should like retreated there and like bottlenecked them all into that freaking little pass where I came from. I can't. There's like an invisible wall there now.
What is going on here? Where is the girl? Wow, one shot. I don't think I was meant to survive that. Who are these people? They attacked us as we were about to apprehend the target, Colonel. I did warn you not to frighten her away. Where is she? I... She got away, Colonel. Keep looking! And take those other two in, in the palace. I'll question them later. Yes, sir! Oh, we're being held prisoner. That ain't good. I agree, Mikri. This it really is going like a an interesting direction, indeed. Kuro. Kuro. Get up! Ah, finally awake, are you? I still don't know where we are, but I'm getting worried. I'm afraid it will take a while to get back to my father. I mean, look, they threw us in prison. This place is just filthy. You'd think we were sent back 50 years ago during the golden age of the empire. Anyway, it keeps getting harder to explain all of this logically. Hey, look. The soldier who brought us water forgot to close the door again. We're pretty lucky, huh? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Uh, no. Doo doo doo. We're going to escape. I'm sure you'll manage to just fine. They took your sword, but all you need to do is avoid the soldiers. You can't solve everything with violence, you know. Ever the chatterbox, this one. I'm counting on you to get us out of this hellhole. All right. What is this, the escapists? Okay, I can hide in the shadows. Interesting. So, you blew the whistle because you saw me and then you didn't think to chase me any further. I've never played it, actually. I believe I've got it on PlayStation, uh, one of my PlayStations, because it was a PlayStation Plus game at one point. time. Seriously, Kuro? What exactly are you doing? Don't tell me you're actually thinking you can get past the guards by hiding under that box. Sure, it worked for Solid Snake. Why can't it work for us? Sometimes I wonder how you come up with these with ideas like that. Well, alright. If you insist, go ahead and try. Just don't say I didn't warn you.
Uh, okay. Right, so it's really interesting as to like where they detect movement. I think it's like, it seems like they, they can't see like two blocks in front of them. So if I move like effectively two blocks here and then move down, this guy can't see me there. So, are you getting a feel of the place? Sometimes the doors are left open, but that doesn't mean anything without the password. There's no way to escape. I'd come up with the perfect trick tattooed the entire prison layout on my back. Hmm, who's that? That's prison break reference. But I never could get hold of my mirror to read it. Any chance of showing us? Okay, I'll admit it. You were right about the box thing. It was a good idea after all. But how was I supposed to know these soldiers would be so, so scripted? No, that's not the word I had in mind. So incapable of noticing a box that's moving around right in front of them. Well, anyway, nice job. I hope the next floors are simple. I'm starting to think though I should have maybe gone I want to get caught because I can't feel like I wanted to go. I can't go back. I feel like we missed something down there. Although we don't think we would have been able to get down there because that guard who's like stood facing us right now would have seen us, I guess. So. How did that song go again? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Sir Robert heads west. Sir Robert is the best. I forgot how it ends. Good job. All right, wait for him to come past. Phew, another mile to go. If only I knew the whole password, I wouldn't have to dig like this. All I know is it contains the word broccoli. Okay, so the password contains broccoli. The magic used a very old numbering system where the letter C represented 100. Hmm. Should we be making notes?
very uh very metal gear solid this like bit definitely hiding in the shadows and being stealthy hey kuro it smells a lot nicer here and it's a little cleaner too i'm positive we're getting close to the exit by the way what's the deal with the password maybe some other prisoners know about it Everyone knows the last part of the password. So what is the last part of the password then? Would you like to divulge that a little? Anyone trying to come through this door must give the password. What vegetables do my kids love? Broccoli. In the song, Sir Robert uh, defeats all the rest. If I count to CIV, I get 104. Which fate do you choose? Hmm, we didn't see that one, did we? Incorrect password. All prisoners... A prisoner is sent to escape! Ha. Huh. So what's the last part of the password then? give us anything What were the options for the last part? It might literally mean something anyone in life would know. Okay, yeah, that's a good... Uh, that's a good shout, Fumbly. Because if we go back any further, then we, li we literally can't go past the box bit again. So all the answers seem to be here. There are seven cents, love, death, and something else. So it's death. You may pass. Everyone knows the last part of the password. straight up the top, I guess. Man. No fair.
What? I guess I have to wait for him to go past me that way then. Makes sense, I guess. Looks like it's an exit, there's a chest over there. But the door is locked. So there must be a way somewhere to open all the doors. Yeah, that was a mistake. Wait for them to go, and then follow the guy who's just come from the right. Ah, no, we're good. Just gotta follow this guy. Nope, can't follow that guy. Ah. Yeah, it's um I said though it's it's very kind of like Metal Gear Solidish where the guards in that game like follow a set pattern. So if you can kind of like you if you can learn the 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 guards patrol panels uh, patterns then you can um get around them pretty easily. What? Well, how am I supposed to pull the switch when I don't have, like, an attack button? Ah! Be a bit more patient now. Come on. Yeah, no save point, which is a bit of a bummer. Oh, then again, impatience. But wait until he comes past and then go. Like, sometimes you can move and sometimes you can't when they whistle you. I don't like that he can see behind him. 
His eyes in the back of his head. So how do I throw the switch? One of the prison doors opened. It's one of them. All right. Did that? Did that door stay shut? Oh, uh, yeah. Did did the switch stay flipped? That's what I'm trying to say. Well, there's only one way to find out. Yeah, but I get the impression that this is for something extra. I don't think this is actually for, like, to progress in the game. I oh, no. Okay, it stayed open. This is what opened. All right, no worries. I'm not going back. And all it was for... Was a collectible star. Huzzah. You got an old sword. Here's hoping it doesn't shatter on the first blow. All right, so now we can. All right, so now we don't have to worry about these guys. We can take them all on. So let's go and uh, let's go back and clear out all these guards. Oh, I can't go back. Well, that's a shame. Uh oh. This looks like a Colosseum. Phew. We're out of jail. Where did we end up this time? And here are our first challengers. Go on. Don't be shy. Come forward, please. Welcome to the Great Colosseum! Where every day the mightiest fighters go up against ferocious beasts! Please settle down while I present the contenders! As I was saying, 
Today, on my left, very young, very powerful fighters filled with youthful zest and unbelievable potential. Please welcome... What's your name again? Don't give him your real name. That might cause trouble. So, your name? Alright, I need to go get a drink. Guys, pick a name. Pick, pick a name. While I go get a drink. There is no Super Mario at, um, it's Super Mario. All right, let's go for Solid Snail as opposed to uh, Solid Snake. Seriously? Please welcome the incredible, the amazing, the extraordinary Solid Snail! So tell me, Solid Snail, are you in top form today? Terrific! Solid Snail expects a crushing victory! He's going to turn his opponents onto Wolverine food. Aha! And I'm being told that Solid Snail's first opponent has just arrived. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with a thunderous round of applause, the great, the magnificent, the extraordinary... Manimal! Manimal is the greatest, the bravest, the uh, hairiest bear tamer in the whole empire. He's trained his wild bears to attack any target he points to. So tell me, Manimal, what is your secret? I use a special keyword to tell my bears to attack. A keyword, you say? That's terrific! And what is the keyword exactly? Voice crack. Well, I look at my bears straight in the eyes, and I say, Get em! And they attack. Get em! <laughs> hmm, it looks like Manimal has had a slight accident. Miss, we have every reason to believe that you meddled in the fight before it even began. In accordance with the Article 13b, Paragraph G, you are hereby disqualified. Solid Snail will fight Manimal's Bears on his own. Because yes, ladies and gentlemen, the fight will go on. Miss, please return to your dressing room until the fight is over. It looks like you'll have to make manage without me on this one, Solid Snail. 
Don't do anything rash. Those bears look downright vicious. Now, without further ado, this fight is on! Uh, not the ideal time to level up, but I hope. I think that's what you call a flawless victory. And it's an overwhelming victory for Solid Snail. But let's not dwell on the past. Here comes the second fight of the day. Hailing from the depths of Malikor Woods, masters of the Eastern martial arts, admittedly small but decidedly tough, the fantastic, the nimble, the extraordinary Ninja Squirrels. Hmm? Oh, it seems that... Terrific! Ninja Squirrels! And without further ado, let the fighting begin! Oh my goodness, they've got shrunkens and everything. Wait a minute. Have you noticed the colours on these squirrels? They're the same colours as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> That's hilarious. I guess, you know, with them being Ninja Squirrels and all, makes perfect sense. <laughs> And another resounding victory for Solid Snail! Solid Snail, just between us, where do you get your phenomenal strength from? Really? Terrific! However... However, that will certainly not be enough to impress your next opponent. But before introducing him, I have a big announcement. The Emperor himself insisted on seeing the next fight in person. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm round of applause for... His Majesty Emperor Luther! So, Colonel, that must be the young man you spoke of. Yes, Your Excellency, that is indeed him. Solid Snail, if I heard correctly. He's the one who helped the girl escape. I see. Yet I made it clear she was not to be harmed in any way. Professor Gyro needs her. We tried to intercept her without injuring her, Your Greatness. But her powers, however weakened, are still strong enough to push back my men. Find her. I'm counting on you, Colonel. Yes, Your Highness. And you, and on your end, Great Mag... Mag and your end, Great Magus... Mag... Magus? 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 How is the battle progressing? We've taken Mayin Bridge, Your Highness. The Demon King is hiding somewhere north and is trying to rally his forces. We have a plan to find his camp and will then be poised to attack De Demonia. However, if you were to approve the use of all means at our disposal, it would be quickly settled. 
I suppose you're referring to the new weapon that Professor Gyro developed. Yes, Your Majesty. If you agree to use it, I am certain the war would be won, and the demons defeated in no time. I will consider it, Great Magus. As it is, the war is a dreadful business. Let us try and to end it quickly and cleanly. If the Colonel's reports are reliable, more conventional means should suffice. As Your Majesty wills it, it wills it, so shall it be done. Oh, my voice. I will make sure Professor Gy Gyro is notified. His weapon will remain in his laboratory for the time being. But if the situation deteriorates, I will reconsider the issue. Understood, Your Majesty. <clears throat> if you would please excuse me. I don't know how many different voices that guy had. He's hiding something from me. I'm sure of it. Now, let's see this fight. Some say that a very powerful demon has been captured by the great Magus sorcerers. But not before he killed several of them, which is a feat in itself. And without further ado, here is our next fighter. Hailing from the northern steeps. Stronger than any other human alive. As ferocious as a raging beast. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you... Minus the Daunting Demon! Let's get on, Doctorus. Minus, anything to say before this fight that's sure to be unbelievably bloody? I cannot die here. Terrific! And with that outstanding speech, let the fight begin! Oh, he's got like a... like Grimlock. <laughs> you are strong. You have earned my respect, but I cannot die here. Might I ask you to escape with me? I know of a passage that leads outside the Colosseum, but alone I cannot flee the city. So, what you say? No time to lose. Come. You're really going to leave me here? All by myself? Yeah, sure, why not? Where? Where are you going? Hey! Hey, wait for me! I like the uh, the announcer's voice. I could do the announcer's voice all day, even though it's like a proper voice killer, but... Here we are. We should be able to reach the cellar. Remove yourself from my path, Solid Snail. Or not. See you shortly. You got gravity! Rather dangerous. This mighty this mighty will fall. <laughs> Hell house is next, yeah.
Are you alright? No broken bones, I hope. We find ourselves beneath Geneva, the capital city of... Uh, sorry, Geneva, the capital city of the Empire. We should be able to escape from here. Thanks, Fina. Oh, sorry. I said I was sorry, okay. Fine, you want to be that way? Get by on your own. So, you do need me after all. Gravity prevents us from leaving. I'm afraid we are stuck here. It is a rather sad ending, never to see my son again. All right, so we need a... Just as I thought. Well, let's see. This wall is pretty high. How about we try this? Go on, it's actually quite simple. Indeed, it was not that difficult. Your turn, Kuro. Can you forgive me for earlier? It's just that I was afraid you'd leave me all alone. You know, Kuro, I think we're lost in a time that's not our own. I'm starting to feel really scared. Do you think we'll be able to get back home one day? Uh, sure. I wish I was as optimistic as you, but now we have no choice. We must go on. Yeah. Much obliged with your help. I'll once again see my son. These boulders blocking our way look impassable, but with our powers combined, we should be able to break them. Focus now to call on me. Minos has joined the team! And we can switch with the left and right bumpers. Nice. Had to try it. I got like all these like this money like racking up, but all right. So we need two keys, it seems. All right, Doctoress. Catch you later, buddy. Fun. try and um, avoid the bats. They just seem to fly on like a circular pattern though, which is, which is not too bad. Just up there, not sure how we're gonna get it. squids for anybody else. Yeah, Mika saw it. It's like really weird. It's like it's like you're jumping. Oh, 
Collectible Star! Not why I wanted that go ahead, so I really did not want that guy to like do that there, but okay. the XP. Knock are pretty good at platformers. Wonder why. Yeah, I've played a few platformers in my time. Yeah, and I think that's what's like the appeal of it to a lot of people. It relates to so many games and they use like mechanics and ideas from so many different games. I remember the first time I, I actually saw this game and I was I said I actually said to somebody, Oh, this is you know, it's, it's like it's a rip off of this, this and this and they were like, No, that's the whole sort of gimmick. I'm about to die. I don't like the whole, I don't like this underwater mechanic there, like the movement on the water is terrible. It just doesn't feel responsive at all. can't go any quicker up than that. It's just like painful. I'll be honest though, these uh, underwater things like give a lot of experience. the XP sort of like rolls over which is nice Oh. 
Yeah, it's not great. Got the key to the sewers. Gives us the frequent bouquet of a dead rat. Yeah. Actually, I might be able to... Is there anything on the start menu? No. Well, it certainly adds, like, a lot of... I wouldn't say... I don't know about pressure is the... It, like, inconsistent, but, like, pressure on the developers to, like, make sure everything works right. It's, um... It's certainly sort of, like, putting more pressure on themselves to deliver in their game, that's for sure. It's fun though. It's, it's like a very interesting concept indeed. There's like a secret something up here. But I guess I can't go up. Alright, crumbling blocks. It's like, don't mess up or you're dead. It's kind of where I would like to see this less falling block mechanics where it actually gives you a little bit of leeway from like standing on the blocks to it actually doing anything. That was like literally instant. The minute you touch the block, it's like crumbles away. Yikes. Yikes. Oh, 
If you don't press jump on those grates, literally you just fall straight off them, so... Rank on there. I can if I take my time. To me, like, it's more natural to press up to grab the grate than it is, like, press jump. But that's just me. It can press up. Ah. Take it back. Yeah, at least there is a good amount of checkpoints. It's a, it's a good uh, comment death wish, to be fair. So that's going to be the key. Speed gel. Yikes. Good to that wasn't lava. big frustration. something worthwhile up here. I'm sure we'll find out this is just the exit, right? And I gotta do all that over again. Yeah, what a joke. Damn me for being the adventurous type. Man, that's that blows. At least we came back and got this chest. We got red goop.
Not to worry. I are pro now. Plus, look at all this tasty experience we're getting. Oh, you... To the sewers, number two. I think all these guys are still dead because we've done this bit without dying, so. I love the way like two of them are locked and then the next one is just like completely open. Door is closed. Ah, finally, we're out in the open. Hmm, it even smells like cake out here. Cake's like, come to think of it, I've hardly had a bite to eat since we started. It's what was supposed to be a quick stroll. That cake smell makes me tum makes my tummy rumble. Kuro, aren't you hungry too? No. You sure you're human? I too would be an enamel to a little rest, but we should stay discreet. The city gates are closed due to the war. We shall have to devise a plan to get out of this bind. An inn would certainly be a good place to obtain information. My people are more at risk than with each, each hour we waste. That solves it then. We're gonna eat! The body needs strength in order to fight. Can't you just say that you're hungry, Minus? I... I am hungry. Ah, there we go. You just have to be honest about your feelings and life immediately gets easier. If we're going to continue this adventure together, we have to be honest with each other. Right, Kuro? Let's go. I'm hungry, Solid Snail. Let us gather our strength and find information. Ah, oh, you can't attack the chickens. Or oh, can you? Please, please, please. Ah, oh, this one's going to be like a chicken Easter egg, like in Zelda. My son just loves the Colosseum. I wish we were there more. I wish he were more interested in the hard facts of life, like doing housework, cooking, working to survive. 
But he'll have time to learn about that when he's all grown up. Better to let him dream for now. I know we don't have much money, but my mummy works hard to have enough to take me to see the fights at the Colosseum. My mummy is super cool. Who's your favourite fighter? I'm so scared of Minos, the exterminator. I get nightmares sometimes, but I don't tell my mummy, okay? She wouldn't want to take me to the Colosseum no more. Indeed, she would not. Alright guys, well, that seems like a pretty good place to uh, actually wrap it up for tonight. Um, got a good solid two hours of progress in here. And uh, yeah, definitely um, much more involved in this second game than there was the first. And uh, looking forward to getting back to it tomorrow night on the stream. Same time, same place. Uh, about 9.30pm at BST. And uh, we will continue our adventure from there. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. I've been Nock, you've been awesome. As always, stay safe. And until next time, happy gaming.